So when I look at an aggressive exercise, what type of heart rate am I looking at? I want to pick, I'm picking an exercise. I don't want to be too aggressive. Then where do I keep my heart rate at? So remember that maximum heart rate, 220 minus your age. Okay. So let's say I'm 85 years old. Okay. 220 minus 85 is 135. Okay. When I'm working out my Borg scale, remember what a Borg scale was? is 10 being the worst, zero being the least out of breath, how you feel currently. How you feel currently. Not how you felt six months ago, but how you felt currently. So like right now at the current position of me, like right now, how out of breath do I feel? I don't feel out of breath at all. So I would have to give it maybe a zero, maybe a, maybe a one, you know, but I'll, I'll, honestly, I'll give it a zero. I don't feel out of breath at all. Okay, my worker breathing isn't very high. So that wouldn't be good for an exercise. I need to stay at, from zero to 10, I need to stay at a four, five, and a six on a Borg scale. Okay, so am I out of breath here? No. Is your work of breathing higher? Yes. Remember, work of breathing is a consequence of an exercise. Okay, the more activity I do, the more higher my work of breathing will be. The more higher my CO2 will be, causing me to feel more out of breath, right? Because it's the CO2 that causes out of breath. So on a board scale, four, five, and six, four is the least one. That's going to be 40 to 60% of my maximum heart rate if I was 85. And at five, it's 60 to 75%. And six is 75 to 80% of my maximum heart rate. Okay, if I was going to plug in these numbers by simply doing this, uh, 0.4 times uh, 135 is going to give me a pulse rate of 54, and then 60 is 81, this is 81 to 101, and then 101 to 107. So my pulse rate zone is 54 to 107. Now, where would an athlete work out? At 40 to 60% of the maximum heart rate? No, they would work out usually in this zone here, 75 to 80% of their maximum heart rate, meaning the work of breathing is going to be very high, you know, but still manageable. That's why we stay at four, five, and six. If somebody wants to just increase their lifespan, you know, without having to become an athlete, they would work out in a zone four on a Borg scale, maybe a five on a Borg scale at times. Okay. Is there anything wrong with working out at a six? No, absolutely not. But if you're always staying at 75 to 80% of your maximum heart rate, you're overworking yourself, you know, because you're trying to train to be an athlete. But if you focus your work of breathing to be at a manageable level, level keeping your heart rate, if you're 85 years old, from 54 to 81 or 81 to 101, Okay, you're just increasing your toleration to exercise, but you're not necessarily becoming an athlete. What you're doing is you're increasing your lifespan. Does that make sense, everybody? Does everyone understand that? Okay, so if I was going to become an athlete, I have to work at a higher exercise level to tolerate higher exercise levels. If I'm at a five, you know, what would a five be like on an exercise? Let's say walking. That's, remember, it's based off of you. Some people, they, they can only walk like five feet, ten feet, you know, and they, they, they get out of breath. They go from a zero to, or a one or a two on their board scale. As soon as they stand up and start walking, they jump to a, a seven in just a couple seconds. Okay, what's our biggest problem with that? It's because well, what's happening? We're not managing our work of breathing. We're just getting up and going, and as soon as we start feeling out of breath, then we start taking care of it. That's the worst thing you could do. So every time you work out, you just get up and start going. And once you start feeling out of breath a little bit, then you start, okay, I'm going to panic now. Okay, now I have to do my breathing. No, why don't you do it beforehand? Before standing up, what should I do? Hyperoxygenate yourself. You're about to endure an activity that might render you out of breath. So hyperoxygenate yourself. Personal breathe for 10 seconds. 
Start the ex exercise. Keep that work of breathing management level in your head. That objective, right? That objective uh, component, meaning how out of breath do you feel right now? I feel like a one. Okay, we'll start walking. Start walking. All right, start walking. Periodically, I'll do a talk test or I'll just read or something if I'm on a treadmill. Okay, and I'm, I'm reading or I'm saying out loud, hey, my breathing is manageable, so my breathing is okay, or I'm singing to a song. My work of breathing is not going to be very high. It's probably at a two or a three. I might need to increase that more. But needless to say, if I'm not trying to be an athlete, I can just keep walking. And my work of breathing levels will probably still stay the same. But as soon as I start feeling a little heightening work of breathing, I notice that my, you know, me talking isn't talk, you know, I'm not speaking a lot of words in one full sentence. You know, I'm speaking like two, three words. You know, then I know my CO2 is climbing. You know, I'm managing my work of breathing, so I know that's happening. So what am I going to do then? Well, my work of breathing is going higher. You know, I'm managing it, but my work of breathing is going higher. And I'm at a five. I'm at a six on, a work of, on, on my work of breathing which is very manageable, okay? Should I, but, my, you know, my work of breathing is getting higher. What should I do? Should I stop? No, keep going. Your work of breathing is higher, but it's still manageable. What's, how do I manage my CO2 levels? Ventilation. Breathing. Breathing in a little bit deeper. Stop breathing like a squirrel, right? Breathe in just a little bit deeper. That's all. More frequently. If, so you see somebody doing this, they walk. If, if you notice yourself doing this, that's okay. But let's say you're walking. You're walking, and you see that your work of breathing is getting higher. You know, it's getting higher, and you're like, okay, i got to sit down. You know, that's not, that's not going to help you as soon as you have to go and sit down. That's not going to help you because why? You, you let yourself get out of breath completely, and then now your thought of that exercise is, I can't do it. That's, that's, that's your mind frame right now. I can't do it. I can't walk. How far can you walk before you have to stop? A uh, couple feet versus the other, another person. You know, that's exercise, and they say, oh, I can't walk very far. Well, how far can you walk before you have to stop? Maybe a mile, two miles. Well, who says that's a problem? It's a problem for me because I used to walk like 10 miles. Did you? Every day? Well, no, not every day, but I could. I could. And it's like, you're, you're kind of developing a narcissistic attitude in a sense with your own self. You know, because you're, you're like, okay, I used to be like that. Yeah, I used to be a kid too. I used to be very young. And as a kid, I didn't have a lot of problems. I could run and, and go as fast as I can and not have any problems. Yeah, because you're like 45 pounds and not 200 pounds. You know, it's a little different. <laughs> you know, so um, I, I kind of hope I made the point here, especially with this, and I hope I didn't make it too confusing.